2 2 against Tottenham at home. You want to start with a bang, it's not the way to do it. But hang on a second. Before we start. <laughs> what, what is this? Hey, I'll tell you once more. Hey, Mark, Mark, make up yourself, yeah? So, this is the guy that bought this on snugsy.com. Make sure you check that out. So, this is Mook, by the way, CFC underscore Mook. Brilliant Twitter account. Please follow him. He's also a former Rudiger no, fan. I am not listen, Father. Don't, don't put the blame on someone else. <laughs> This is all you. Hey, I'm telling you, man, I'm depressed, man. But you know what? I, as a, as a pillow man, I'm just going to hug it, man, innit? You've got to move I'm, on, though. Yeah, I'm, you've got to move on at some I'm point. moving on, man. I'm moving on, I'm moving on from life. I'm good, I'm good. But, yeah, man. Are you going gonna to throw him away? I'm my pillow, man. I need that one for my Turbo pillow. Timo. Turbo Timo, Timo, my pillow. Fair <laughs> enough. Well, I mean, listen, let, let's cut to it. Obviously, Timo, yeah. he, he's gone to Leipzig. Funny enough, he scores. <laughs> None of our. Um, Strikers on the score sheet yeah. today. We're again relying on our defenders, Rhys James uh, and, and Koulibaly. I mean, where, where, where's our goal threats coming that's from? The thing. That's the thing. Like today, probably the best game I've seen ever since the preseason start up until now. We haven't been looked that convincing enough in our in our attacking line. I think today by far the best. Even though for me Sterling wasted a couple of chances, mm. it kind of cost me a bit, and I feel like so disappointed the way that. We cannot finish it in that final third. And sometimes this is the thing about, about our attacking threat, is that it's the same occurrence that we've been seeing for a while now. And it's, I think we haven't sorted out quick yet. And I feel like all this kind of like slow, slowly ease them in. And then I think that we need we need to act in the window quickly enough to, to sort this problem out. And I wouldn't mind a, a short term. But we need to we need to act quick, man, and that's that's been our issue so far. It seems like Abamyang is is the yeah. one we're being linked with. Is he, he going to solve our problems? You never know, innit? it? Like he, you can have Abamyang, you can have Ronaldo, and I feel like for me, well, you, no, take, you still take Ronaldo. I, do you know what? Yeah, as a short term, yes. I don't think I, I think from for me, yeah, I'll take him for for a year. But then, do I think that? Ronaldo can't, I don't know about Ronaldo's relationship with Tuchel and the fact that Tuchel said enough that he doesn't want he doesn't want him at the club. I think it's a media PR. I just think there's something going on behind the scenes that we don't know about. But do I think that he, Tuchel wants to sign Ronaldo? You never know, innit? Opinions can change. But I wouldn't mind taking Aubameyang as well, as long as that we have a, our attacking threat go on, man. And that's been our issue so far. We need to sort that attacking threat. I think Abamyang makes sense. Obviously, Tuchel has worked with him before, but yeah. his wages are going to be silly. We know he's had problems with his attitude from mm-hmm. his experience at Arsenal. Yeah. And on top of that, we are getting ripped off by Barcelona because they got him for free, mm-hmm. and they want to get 25 million euros for mm. him. Whereas with Ronaldo, I can understand why Bolu would want him. Yeah. But he's not going to suit the pressing system. It's, it's the thing that Aubameyang now is on it's on 90k. Do I think that Aubameyang can get? can get into the Chelsea team and gelling with Tuchel I would so because of the relationship in the past that's the way I see it but with the current squad that we have right now time will tell but like I said I think Bowley's kind of like see the problems where we had right now you know you know the amount of chances that we've had in the second half the Sterling one for me is kind of like very gutted the car habits one as well and that's just show how lack we are in the finishing in that final third it's been disappointing, it's been frustrating as well. And the fact that we got Leeds next week, another low block team like Everton, you never know, we might we might again struggle against them. But I feel like today probably the, by far the best performance by Chelsea so far. Yeah, yeah, I was gonna say we don't want to criticise too much, you know, because yeah. at the end of the day we're not we're not trying to say that Averts isn't doing well or Sterling's yeah. doing well. They are, but it's just it, what more can we do um, because the, the reality is the team performance was fantastic today mm-hmm. we deserved to absolutely batter Tottenham and it really could have gone that way mm-hmm. if it wasn't for those decisions exactly that I feel like in that first half that was the smoothest performance I've seen from Chelsea so far they don't look scared of us they look scared of us even though in that, in that second half I didn't see much anything from Tottenham apart from those lucky goals but it's just disgusting that we can see those two goals from, from the uh, arguably the worst decision I've seen so far from from the from the games uh, for ever a long time from Anthony Taylor's perspective, it was disgusting to watch, man. Absolutely disgusting. And the fact that Tuchel got sent off as well, which just showed the passion that Tuchel has had for this football club. He's, you can see that those photos have been leaked to the social media. 
he was getting at Conte big time and that is our manager and we have to back him some of the neg neg negativity I've seen the online you know what you can fair you do what you do what you want you know what Tuchel keeps talking the performance on the pitch man that's what that's what matters about oh yeah you gotta back the manager and yeah. I will say it myself anyone who doesn't back the manager I don't know what you're going through because uh, there is no man that yeah. could have taken us through what we have been through as a club mm. as well as Thomas Tuchel you're crazy crazy if you can't support this man but let's not get let's not let's not go over the top right yeah. we've drawn a game mm. right the team needs to build some momentum we got a win against Everton we yeah. didn't play our best yeah. we played a lot better today mm. and the referees didn't do us any favours Leads. Quick question: do you, do you know how severe Kante's injury, though? Uh, it, it, you know, it looked it looked a little bit nasty at first, but he did walk off the pitch, which is always a positive sign. Um, you know, so I, I think he'll definitely be out for a fair amount of time. Yeah. But I don't think it's anything too serious because he went down straight away. I think if you if you keep trying to run on it, um, sometimes you can. This is the thing that I've I've still I'm still a bit pessimistic about that. Yeah. When, no matter what happens from this end until the end of the window, we're gonna panic by anyway. And that's and that's the only option that we've got now. You've got Frankie De Jong in our radar for nearly two weeks now, and Barcelona literally trying to kidnap him to, to, for that for him to be staying at Barcelona. You know what? Either you you pay the money, Boli, or not. Just pay him the money. Get him out of that out of that rotten club, man. We need Frankie De Jong at Chelsea Football Club. I will say this: Frankie De Jong will improve this midfield. This season, I'm, I'm going to show that if he comes. And if he comes, just to finish off. Yes. Um, you know, someone's going to have to go. Uh, I don't, you know what? I think Gallagher might go alone if that happens. Who? Gallag Gallagher. Gallagher. You think Gallag You think you get rid of Gallagher? I, I just had a feeling, man. I, I just, if Frankie De Jong comes, Gallagher want to get, get a game time in it. Yeah, but Gallagher's fresh blood. You never know, man, because, you know, you, you never we know. Haven't, we haven't even seen Gallagher play yet. That's How can you not give him a chance? That's the thing. Like, I've seen what, you know what, four competition in, in that midfield, I don't mind at all, but if Tuchel says otherwise, like, we want to, I don't think he, he's, the, he's the solution for this uh, long-term target, do you know what? We're going to back the manager at the end of the day. If he had to sacrifice Gallagher at the end of the day. But at the moment... My heart's saying Gallagher will stay, but my head says he, I think he, I think if the young comes, anything can happen. Well, there you have it. Gallagher out. Is that what you, is, are you in the no, Gallagher I'm not, out? No, I'm not. I'm not implying Gallagher out. Okay, I'm, so I'm just implying that if the young comes, anything can happen. Right. And you just think that Gallagher will be replaced? Yeah, I think, I think okay. I think he got, he'll go on loan. Uh, my head said, but I think my heart says he'll stay. Fair enough. Well, let's not think about that too much. Cause <laughs> I think there's plenty to see from Gallagher. Yeah. I'd love to see him start more. Well, me often. too. Me too. But, I thought he would came on today. He looked good today. He looked good. But yeah, I mean, listen, Father, it's been a pleasure. Yeah. This needs to go. <laughs> but all the best, mate. Thank, oh, you, God, very God. Much. Thank you, man. Cheers.